The Power Pro Baseball Series has been absent from English-speaking territories for quite some time. And in its time away, the series has continued and thrived in Japan with numerous releases over the years on various platforms. Now, the Switch has also been no stranger to the series. Three mainline games have released. You had one in 2019, 2020, and then last year in 2022. And he also had a spin-off title called Power Pro Kun Pocket R that released in late 2021. Now, of course, these all have lacked one thing that most people wanted, an English localization. Well, fast forward to now, and for some reason, Konami opted to give gamers across the globe a shot at some Power Pro Baseball with WBSC, or World Baseball Softball Confederation, eBaseball Power Pros. Now, while this is a very cheap budget title, you're probably wondering if it's worth your time. Lucky for you, that's exactly what we're here to talk about. Danny from the Famicast here. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications. Sound off in the comments below. We may read it out on our bi-weekly show called the Famicast. Today, though, we're taking a look at the latest English language entry into the Power Pro series with WBSC eBaseball Power Pros on the Switch. We've covered pretty much all the Power Pro games that have hit the Switch, so if you've uh, seen any of my videos before about this game, you'll probably know what to expect here, but if not, I'll break it down briefly. Despite its cute look, Power Pros is actually a pretty sim-style baseball game, albeit one that is easy enough to get into, I feel. Pitching has players choose from a number of different pitches with the analog stick. Now, once chosen, you simply press B and then decide the location uh, before the pitch animation is completed, then you'll throw it in there. Batting is also pretty simple to understand too. You just move the bat cursor to where the ball is and press B for regular swing, this time it right. Um, you can also opt to do a power swing by pressing R, which in turn makes the cursor quite a bit smaller, but it packs a, definitely a more potent swing. Uh, fielding also is pretty simple. The face buttons are assigned to bases for throws, while jumps, dives, and some other things like that are also possible. Then just for a quick couple of quick gameplay tips here. Now, there is a speed boost that you can get while running to the bases, and it's pretty easy to do. All you need to do is just tap the shoulder buttons while your uh, little guys are running to the bases. I honestly find this kind of annoying and wish that it was just done automatically, but I could see how it could make base running a little bit more engaging for some people, though. Um, additionally, you're able to actually change the camera while playing with the click of the right analog stick, but this is only when playing locally. When you're playing online, you can only play with the camera behind the plate. Being a budget title, modes are a bit sparse in WBSC Power Pros. Now, the main mode on offer here is called Championship, which is basically a portal into online play. Yeah, a little bit more on that in a bit. Now, outside of that, you are able to play practice games against a computer or with up to four uh, people. You can also take part in local tournaments and create your own team. Now, before diving into Championship, it's important to note that you will need to set up your own custom team in order to play any baseball here, not just online, but anything really. And it's it's okay because team creation is actually pretty simple. You can allow the computer to basically auto draft a team based on certain parameters. This can be basically with like a focus on batting, a focus on pitching, focus on defense, or just like a balanced team. Or you can actually opt to choose the players individually all by yourself. Now, not only this, but you're actually able to edit and set up uniforms with a surprising amount of depth. You're also able to customize like I said, these uniforms, you can uh, choose coaches, your default stadium, what color fans you are, like the shirts they're wearing and stuff like that, and more. Now, although the game does have this WBSC license, it doesn't feature any real-world players. Uh, the player pool actually consists of characters that have basically appeared in Power Pro games over the years. Now, when it comes to setting up your team and customization, there, there's a lot of depth here, and how much effort you put into it, it really just kind of depends entirely on you. Now, as mentioned previously, Championship is the online portal for Power Pros. While you can opt to create or join games in the Quick Play lobby uh, right off the bat, most of the focus here is on the weekly Championship tournaments themselves. Now, these games are actually limited to three innings and have restrictions on team strength to basically keep teams from being stacked. So when you're making your team, um, there's like a ranking of like how strong they are and stuff like that. And basically, you just can't go over a certain uh, level if you want to use that team to participate in the tournaments, you could tell which what's what because it just won't let you choose the team if it's too strong. Uh, a couple of other little things here they do that are nice. I mean, there are time limits put into place while uh, playing the game for doing things like, you know, changing players, making substitutions, and even doing things like keeping a, a pitch timer between the pitches and stuff so people aren't lollygagging around. 
Now, with these elements in place, games actually go by at a pretty brisk pace. And it's also worth noting that you know, for the tournament mode too, once you choose a team for the tournament, and the tournaments typically, at least so far, have lasted a week, you can only play as that team for the remainder of that tournament. So be careful which team you choose. Now, completing games, win or lose, nets you this thing called CP. Now, this accumulates over time and provides players with various unlocks. These consist mainly of animations that can be used for your player introductions in the online matches, or for entirely new players that can be added to your team, or just like you can use their likeness in your little profile there too. You're also given an overall ranking for the tournament, as well as a lettered rank and a power rank, basically saying how strong you are. All these aspects are, you know, pretty robust, and it could be pretty motivating for keeping people playing. Now, while I do think this is a pretty fun mode, this is something that isn't new to the Power Pro series. Well, I mean, at least not for Japan. Um, an almost identical mode can be found in last year's Japan-only Power Pro Baseball 2022 on both the Switch and PS4, complete with more or less the same logo. And if you've already picked up Power Pro 2022, uh, you won't be missing out on much aside from maybe a potentially larger pool of players online and, of course, that glorious English support. Now, I'll be perfectly honest with you guys, I'm not really a huge fan of online competitive play in uh, sports games, but nevertheless, that's obviously a very big component of what WBSC Power Pros is all about. Now, joining matches here is actually pretty simple and quick, especially in the main tournament modes. I was usually able to hop in and get playing in about a minute or so, and this is including like setup time for both my opponent and myself. Now, I wasn't able to test like online under extreme optimal conditions, aka via wired connection. Just didn't have time to monkey around with all the stuff for that, but I did try it out using Wi-Fi in a very spotty area of my house. <laughs> I've also used it on my main TV, that has a bit of a stronger connection there, and also played the game via handheld mode. You know, th there really are some issues uh, with the game having some hiccups here and there. Uh, typically, this didn't affect the gameplay, however, there were some times when it looked like my pitches appeared to be delivered slowly, I have no idea what the my opponent was seeing, and then conversely, sometimes it would appear like my pit, the uh, my opponent's pitches were actually coming in like pretty quickly. I don't know, this could just be chalked up to me not being used to like the tournament settings for the gameplay. Uh, I, I don't know, it could just really be some hiccups, it could have just been bad luck. I mean, despite these complaints, I, I did have some fun actually playing against others around the globe. Now, whether you're new to the Power Pro series or have been playing for a long time, I think the visuals and presentation here are actually quite nice. Being a Power Pro game, the players sport a cute, round look, and also they have no legs. Now, with the Switch version, the game does actually run pretty smoothly. However, some of, some conceits were made here with the graphics, just as with the previous Japan-only entries. Uh, this is basically the same engine, same animations and stuff like that. Uh, one thing you might notice, logos on jerseys and in the stadiums, like on the walls and stuff like that, they have somewhat of a, a low resolution, as do the players' faces to some extent. Um, I think you likely won't notice this from far off, but on close-up shots, it's pretty easy to spot. Now, regardless, these visuals are, are good enough, and I think the performance here doesn't take a hit for uh, you know the game trying to do too much, so that's good. Audio here is also on point, however, unless you tinker with some options, I think you're going to be missing out on some of the charm of the game. Now, if you're playing the game in English, you might notice that the game is a bit quiet <laughs> when it comes to like commentary and stuff like that. While English text is supported here, commentary is not. There is no English commentary. And by default, when you change the game into English, that turns the commentary all the way down in the settings menu. However, you can actually adjust this and turn it up like all the way, and this will essentially enable uh, Japanese commentary, Japanese play-by-play. -play. So give that a che uh, check that out if you're interested in knowing what it sounds like. I'm pretty happy that Konami has brought Power Pros back to the English-speaking world, even with this bite-sized budget release. The gameplay is still tight, the aesthetic is endearing, and the game runs smoothly. Online play is a bit spotty at times, but mostly okay. Now, at the end of the day, this is a very cheap title, so I honestly think you won't be out much if you try to take the plunge on this. But let's turn, turn things over to you guys. Did you pick up WBSC eBaseball Power Pros? What platform did you pick it up on? Are you new to the series, or are you some kind of grizzled vet out there? Uh, be sure to sound off in the comments down below. We'd love to hear from you. Now, as always, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you like what you see, please, please feel free to drop us a like. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe. We've got tons of podcasts, video reviews, looks at sports games like this, and a whole lot more. Again, this is Danny from the Famicast. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you later.